Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Options Learning Program Returning Families Orientation. My name is Rebecca McAlpine, Director of Engagement. I'm super excited to be your tour guide throughout all of our weeks of welcome sessions. Today, we have the joy of having Mrs. Carly Roberts here with us today to present all of the wonderful content, tips, information, and fun stuff to share with you here today. So with that, Carly, feel free to take it away. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Hello, everybody. I'm Carly Roberts, and I would like to warmly welcome you to the Options Learning Program Orientation for our Returning Families. It's great to see so many familiar faces as we prepare for another exciting school year. Today, we'll be covering what's new, reviewing important updates, and making sure you're equipped with everything you need for a successful year ahead. Thank you for being here and for your continued dedication. Let's make the 2024-25 school year our best one yet. Let's quickly review today's agenda. We'll start with our mission, vision, and core values, which guide everything we do at Compass. Next, I'll give an overview of Compass Charter Schools and the Options Learning Program. We'll then cover essential tools like Scholar Compass Email, ClassLink, and ParentSquare. After that, I'll introduce the Learning Coach Academy and highlight some engagement opportunities for the year. We'll finish with a Q&A session to address any questions. Let's dive in. Our mission and vision are very important to us here at Compass. Since all of the information presented today is geared towards our scholar success and sticking to our Compass mission and vision, I think it's important to review these this morning. And our values are achievement, respect, teamwork, integrity, and communication, and are central to all that we think, say, and do here at Compass. Compass is one of California's leading public charter schools, serving scholars throughout the state in transitional kindergarten or TK, kindergarten, and grades one through 12. A charter school is a free public school that has the freedom to individualize our scholars' education more freely than a traditional public school. A charter school is a public school. So although we have freedom in some aspects, we are still required to adhere to the public school laws and regulations. We have multiple schools throughout California. We have charters in San Diego, Los Angeles, and Yolo counties. We are an independent study program with two choices, our options learning program and our online learning program. Compass is designed and organized to serve scholars and families who have chosen a unique educational setting that can meet an individual scholar's needs. Let's dig a little deeper into our options learning program, which is an independent study and personalized learning model. This program is ideal for parents who are fully committed to being actively involved in their child's daily education. It allows parents, scholars, and teachers to work together to tailor curriculum and instruction based on the scholar's unique interests and needs. As part of this collaboration, parents and teachers work as a team to select and order curriculum in accordance with the family order agreement and master agreement. This ensures that the educational materials are aligned with the scholar's grade level and state standards. Creating a nurturing and compelling learning environment is another key responsibility. As a learning coach, you'll provide lessons and assignments that challenge your scholar and help them thrive academically. Finally, it's important to keep your scholar's personalized learning plan up to date, revisiting it every learning period to ensure it reflects their current educational needs and goals. This program is all about working together to provide the best possible learning experience for your scholar. The Master Agreement, or MA, is a crucial document that every scholar, learning coach and supervising teacher must sign to continue enrollment at Compass. Before signing, it is important that the parent or legal guardian meets with the supervising teacher to review the agreement. This ensures everyone understands the terms and expectations. This is a legal document, so it must be signed, dated, and returned to Compass for your scholar to be actively enrolled. No scholar or learning coach will have access to the curriculum until the signed master agreement is received. 
it's essential to return the master agreement within the first three days of school. If it's not returned on time, it may result in a mandatory meeting with a superintendent and CEO or their designee to determine if it's in the scholar's best interest to continue enrollment. Remember, this is an annual requirement, so a new master agreement must be signed each school year. The Family Order Agreement, or FOA, is an important document that outlines the responsibilities and expectations for using educational funds. Your supervising teacher will send this form to you, and it must be completed and signed before any community provider orders can be approved. This step is crucial to ensure that all orders align with our guidelines. The FOA reviews the responsibilities associated with using educational funds, so it's important to read it thoroughly. The purpose of the Family Order Agreement is to clearly outline the expectations around ordering instructional materials and the requirements you need to follow. By understanding and adhering to this agreement, you ensure that the funds are used effectively to support your scholars' learning. Let's go over the key responsibilities for learning coaches or LCs to ensure a smooth and successful school year. First, it's essential to attend live monthly connection meetings with your supervising teacher, along with your scholar. These meetings are crucial for staying aligned and addressing any needs or questions. Next, be sure to submit curriculum orders on time as outlined in the family order agreement. Timely submissions help ensure your scholar has the necessary materials. Daily activity logs must be completed and signed regularly. These logs are important for tracking attendance and meeting those state requirements. Regular, communica regular communication with your teacher is vital. Make it a habit to check your email and phone messages daily, including any automated messages about your scholar's attendance or progress. This helps you stay informed about important updates. You're also responsible for submitting scholar assignments as required each learning period. This ensures your scholar is making progress and meeting academic expectations. Additionally, support your scholar in attending and navigating internal assessments. Make sure they're prepared and understand the process. It's important to ensure that your scholar is working daily, Monday through Friday, for at least four hours a day, as this is the minimum requirement for independent study. For more details, please refer to the Options Program Scholar Handbook, which outlines all the responsibilities in greater depth. By following these responsibilities, you'll help your scholar thrive in their academic journey. Let's discuss how attendance and assignments are managed in our program. Attendance is taken through daily activity logs in our student information system, School Pathways. This is a mandatory requirement, and these logs must be updated and signed each learning period. As a learning coach, you'll complete the activity logs through your School Pathways parent portal. Make sure the logs accurately reflect your scholars' daily academic activities, including schoolwork completed each day, Monday through Friday. Now let's move on to assignments. Your scholars' work must be completed each school day and marked correctly on the activity logs. These assignments are completed work products that show their progress toward mastering standards in each of their assigned courses. Assignments should be shared with your scholar's supervising teacher through Seesaw or School Pathways every learning period. These submissions are essential as they comprise your scholar's body of work and are used by the ST to assess their progress and provide monthly progress scores on the personalized learning plan. By staying consistent with both attendance and assignments, you help ensure your scholar is meeting their academic goals. As we prepare for the new school year, there are some important changes to share with our families. Starting this year, supervising teachers will assign the standards that need to be met at the beginning of each learning period, or LP. This change will help ensure that all educational goals are clearly defined from the outset. Collaboration is still at the heart of our connection meetings, so LCs and STs will be able to collaborate on the learning trajectory of the scholar. Additionally, all work will now be uploaded directly to School Pathways. This new process will begin in February of 2025. While the use of programs like Seesaw will, will remain optional, it is crucial that all assigned work is uploaded to the Student Information System, or the SIS, to maintain consistency and accountability. 
To support our families in this transition, we will offer training sessions from September of 2024 through January of 2025. These sessions will teach parents how to use the new upload feature in the SIS with options for both live and recorded formats. The purpose of these updates is to ensure we have dedicated, we have a dedicated gradebook that will facilitate effective progress monitoring and provide timely feedback on academic performance. We believe these changes will enhance our ability to track scholar progress and support their educational journey more effectively. Let's go over how to use School Pathways, which is an essential tool for accessing courses and staying connected. So there are two ways to log in. One is for learning coaches or the parents, and one is for our scholars. You're gonna use the email that you use to enroll with us and the password that you set. To sign in, you're gonna click on that forgot username or password, enter your compass issued email address, um, that scholar CCS email address, and then you're gonna be able to use, um, to go to the email that is registered for your account and create a password for your School Pathways account. So those are the two different pathways, either for the learning coach parent or for our scholars. There are various functions of School Pathways. Um, it's either to access courses, it's for communication, school information, daily attendance, activity logs, and I strongly suggest bookmarking the School Pathways site if you haven't already done so. This will make it easier to access and ensure you can quickly get to the resources and information that you need. School Pathways is a crucial part of your Compass experience, helping to streamline communication, track attendance, and access educational resources efficiently. So let's go over how to upload assignments into the Scholar Portal. First, you're going to log into the student portal using the provided link to access the student portal. So once upon logging in, you will see the activities log as your default page. You're going to navigate to the classes and assignments and grades, ensuring that your scholar has assigned master, assigned and accepted master agreement. So that is what allows you to actually view that part of the SIS, the view assignments, um, and then it would display all of the listed um, scheduled classes and any average grades that may have been assigned at that point. So you're going to click on view assignments for your specific course, and that's going to open up the view assignments page. You're going to adjust the class and school period as needed. So depending on the learning period, you can filter for incomplete assignments if necessary. You can also set your preferred language using Google Translate. You're going to prepare your document or assignment for submission. So make sure that file is either in a JPEG or PDF format for your scholar's assignment, preferably PDF. You'll follow the naming convention, your scholar's last name, comma, first name, underscore subject, underscore learning period. Um, and using that, we also have a provided guide to convert files to PDF if needed, and that'll all be provided in the parent training. Next, you're going to submit the assignment. You just click turn in next to that appropriate assignment. You select your file and then click Submit Assignment. So you will see a green message confirming successful submission. So then you can review grades and messages also once there. So once that teacher has reviewed your assignment, then on your side, you are going to see the grades and percentages that were earned. You can also send a message to your supervising uh, teacher directly through the system. Um, you'll click a Send button next to the specific assignment, and then you can review the message by clicking Read. So by following these steps, you'll ensure that assignments are submitted correctly and on time, helping track and assess your scholar's progress effectively. And I know that was a lot, but not to worry, we are going to have a very like much more in-depth learning coach parent trainings on these starting in September. So I was reading a lot to you, but those trainings coming September are going to be much more visual, walking you through the amazing Christina Burt uh, is going to handle all of that, and I'm going to be assisting her. So it sounds like a lot, but not to worry. It's really, really easy. In California, the state mandates a different minimum instructional minutes per day for independent study, depending on the scholar's grade level. So for kindergarten, it's 200 minutes. In grades first through third requires 280 minutes. In grades four through eighth, they need 300 minutes. And high school scholars need 360 minutes. These guidelines ensure that scholars receive adequate instruction time tailored to their developmental needs at each educational stage. So at Compass, our goal is to maintain high academic expectations while strictly adhering to state compliance requirements. 
This approach ensures that all scholars receive a quality education that meets or exceeds the state standards. You heard me mention the supervising teacher, also referred to as the ST previously. So let's go over exactly what a supervising teacher is here at Compass. Every scholar enrolled at Compass has a credentialed supervising teacher assigned to them. Supervising teachers are your go-to point person for all things Compass. You'll hear from your ST once enrollment is approved and you're ready for your master agreement. They will go over the master agreement with you, verify your contact information, and send over the master agreement for signatures. Once the master agreement is signed and returned by all necessary parties, they will schedule your first connection meeting. During your first connection meeting with your ST, you'll go over everything you need to know to start the school year. Attendance, assignments, Seesaw school pathways, connection meeting requirements, expectations, the family order agreement, benchmark assessments, and curriculum choices are all some of the important items your supervising teacher will go over with you during that connection meeting. Now let's go over connection meeting requirements. Scholars and the learning coaches or LCs must connect with their ST no less than once every 27 days. You can connect with your supervising teacher in any live visual or audio connection. We prefer for you to meet through video conferencing with your cameras on to meet face-to-face. -face. We recommend our families and STs collaborate to decide on and set the connection dates for the year and keep that schedule. This helps keep schedules organized and helps make sure that you meet at minimum of our required of our meeting requirements. As most of you know, a lot of our families connect more frequently than once a month. So remember that once a month is just the minimum requirement. During connection meetings, your supervising teacher will formally and informally assess your scholar's academic progress, approve activity logs, review, review your scholar's completed assignments and digital portfolio submissions. Connection meetings are also so much fun. We expect scholars to jump on the mic and camera and show their supervising teacher what amazing things they've been doing at home. Here is one of our grading rubrics, specifically our TK through fifth grade one. So at Compass, we use grading rubric, rubrics to evaluate the scholar work. There is specific criteria that our supervising teachers use for assigning the marks or grades and determining proficiency. Your ST will share with you your scholar's grade level specific rating rubric. Our options learning program truancy policy requires scholars to submit five assignments every 27 school days. According to Compass Board policy, an assignment includes a variety of activities, including traditional schoolwork, completion of learning logs or PE logs, participation in synchronous instruction, live interaction, and attendance at required meetings with a supervising teacher and other staff. To ensure compliance with this assignment policy, we monitor several indicators. If a scholar does not have an assignment for two or more school days during a school week, this will result in a truancy notification and could lead to independent study evaluation. It's crucial to meet these requirements to avoid any issues and to ensure your scholar continues to progress successfully. Curriculum is simply the tool to help the scholar gain the knowledge they need to advance to the next level. Your ST will ask you guiding questions to find out what curriculum will be best for your scholar. Our STs are expert in, in our available curriculum choices and will discuss the following with you to help you choose the best curriculum for your scholar. How much time do you need? How much time do you spend working one-on-one -on -one with your scholar? What motivates your scholar? What are your scholar's goals? And what is your scholar's learning style? OPS is the name of the system that we use for learning coaches to submit their curriculum orders for their teachers to review and approve. All orders must be in compliance with the master agreement, MA, and family order agreement, FOA, and align to the scholars' courses on their MA and PLP. Please make sure that you are first placing curriculum orders for four curriculum, English, math, science, and social studies that are on your scholars' master agreement. Learning coaches will be emailed with their login information to access OPS accounts upon enrollment and are able to place orders after signing the MA and it's approved. So when placing orders, please be mindful of the guidance of our FOA as orders that are not submitted correctly or not in accordance with the guidelines will not be approved and returned to the learning coach for edits 
which may cause delays in your scholar's curriculum arriving by the first day of school. All orders will ship to your shipping address that we have on file, and unfortunately not to PO Box addresses. This is why it's important to keep your address current in our system and to submit a signed copy of your packing slip to your supervising teacher within two days of receiving your order. Failure to do so will result in all future orders being shipped to the nearest Compass teacher and arrangement to pick up the order will be required. If you have any questions about orders, please reach out to your supervising teacher for support. All Compass Scholars receive a Compass Gmail account. When your scholar first enrolled with us, their scholar Gmail account was created. This upcoming school year, it is very important that scholars use their Compass Gmail account to log into live sessions via Zoom. Scholars must check their scholar Gmail accounts daily and all Compass written communications must be sent using this Compass Gmail account. Use the links to access pictures to help you log in for the first time. Don't forget your scholar's username is first.lastname at scholars.compasscharters.org and your temporary password when the account was created was your scholar's first name with a capital letter followed by one, two, three, four, five. Once you sign in, if you haven't done so already, you will be prompted to change the password to something more secure. If you're having difficulty signing into your Gmail account, please fill out a help desk ticket so one of our wonderful IT technicians can assist you. We're excited to introduce ClassLink to our Compass community. Let me explain what ClassLink is and why it's important. ClassLink is a powerful tool that provides one-click single sign-on or SSO access to all the web and window applications that our district has made available for staff and scholars. This means that with just one login, your scholar can access all the necessary educational tools and resources without needing to remember multiple usernames and passwords. Every scholar must set up a class link when they enroll. This platform will be their central hub for accessing all the apps and systems they need for their studies at Compass. Think of it as like a one-stop shop for everything your scholar needs to stay organized and focused on their education. The welcome email from our IT department, which we mentioned earlier, includes detailed information and instruction on how to set up class link. Please make sure to follow these instructions carefully to ensure everything is set up correctly. By using ClassLink, we simplify the process of accessing educational tools and resources. This helps your scholars stay organized and focused on their learning, making it easier for them to succeed. We're thrilled to use this system to enhance the educational experience at Compass. All scholars are required to take benchmark assessments in math and reading in order to determine a baseline proficiency level upon enrollment. Our benchmark assessment is used, that is used is called STAR. Scholars will be assessed again at the end of the school year. Scholars are required to participate in benchmark assessments as detailed in the master agreement in order to determine satisfactory educational progress. Let's talk about Parents Fair, a fantastic online tool we use to keep families connected and engaged with Compass. Parent Square is designed for communication, organization, and engagement between families and Compass. It's a central hub where you can find all the important information and updates you need. When you enroll, you'll receive an invitation email to join Parent Square. This email will contain a link to activate your account. Be sure to activate your account as soon as you receive this email to start accessing all the features that Parent Square offers. It's important to check Parent Square regularly for updates. Our, morning, our Monday morning update or MMU is sent out via Parent Square every Monday morning, providing you with important Compass updates and information. Parent Square also includes a calendar where you can view important dates and events happening at Compass. This helps you stay informed about upcoming activities and deadlines. You can customize how you receive notifications from Parent Square. Choose to get updates via text, email, or directly in the app based on whatever works best for you. By using Parent Square, you'll always be in the loop and able to stay organized with everything happening at Compass. It's a valuable tool for maintaining strong communication and engagement between our school and families. We are excited to announce the Learning Coach Academy, LCA, which offers a variety of live sessions and opportunities for our learning coaches. 
Join us every Monday at 1 p.m. for live Learning Coach Academy sessions. These sessions are designed to provide valuable information and support for our learning coaches. The informational sessions are sessions which cover important topics aimed at helping you support your scholars effectively. You receive insights, tips, and strategies to help your role as the learning coach. In addition to the informational sessions, we have social sessions. These are a great chance for learning coaches to connect with one another by sharing experiences and building a supportive community. By participating in these sessions, you can earn a certificate and a mug that recognizes your commitment and participating in the Learning Coach Academy. To join in the Learning Coach Academy fund, use the following link to register. Our engagement department offers a variety of activities and events for our scholars. Here's an, here's an overview of what we have. Field trips and events. So exciting. So we organize numerous field trips and events throughout the year. These outings provide valuable experiential learning opportunities and a chance for scholars to socialize and connect. We also have scholar clubs. We have a diverse range of scholar clubs catering to various events. These clubs are a great way for scholars to pursue their passions and make new friends. We also offer virtual workshops on various topics, providing additional learning opportunities and skill development for our scholars. At the beginning of the year, we host a back to school park day. It's a fantastic way to kick off the year, meet other families and enjoy fun activities. We celebrate our scholars' achievements through various recognition programs. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate their hard work and successes. We hold celebrations at the end of the school year to commemorate the achievements and progress of our scholars. And then as previously mentioned, Learning Coach Academy provides support and resources for our learning coaches through live sessions, information sessions, and social opportunities. And then we also host weeks of welcome at the beginning of the school year and again at the start of the second semester. These sessions provide important information and they help our families get acquainted with our programs and our resources. So for more detailed information, please visit our Compass engagement page. Last but not least, please make sure to take a moment to review the Options Digital Welcome Packet. Please be sure to set aside some time to review the packet that is linked in the chat. This packet includes tips for a successful school year. Here is a glimpse of our WOW schedule. This week, we have, a welcome, we have welcome back events, orientations, as well as our department and special program open houses. In week two, our assessment, scholar success, and EL departments will, pre will be providing our Compass families with some amazing information to ensure our scholars have a successful school year. As we wrap up today's session, I want to thank you all for joining us and for your continued commitment to your scholars' education. We've covered a lot of important information and we're excited to work together to make this school year a success. Thank you again for being here and we look forward to a fantastic year ahead.